Hi family, it's your girl attorney Brunel Donoche. How are you guys doing today? We are going to dive into Psalm 9 and 1 and it reads, I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. Now we're going to kind of um, spend our time today on I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. Man, I tell you, it's been a very busy week. It's been a week of waiting, trusting the Lord for things. It has been just a lot, um, just trying to get through this week. And I finally got to Saturday and I'm so very grateful. You know, I have become more and more passionate in my um, prayers, you know, to the Lord, you know, being very mindful and purposely praying with more passion, with more fervor. Because I tell you, as a Christian, uh, you will begin to, especially when you don't see the things of God manifesting with the way that you thought it was supposed to manifest or the way that it was supposed to come through and it's not coming through, you start saying, Holy Mary, for of grace, mm -hmm. glory be to God, good night, mm -hmm. I ask forgiveness of my sin, I follow what you are in heaven, and and you go to sleep, you know, and I, ha I haven't kind of... I was on my way there, I tell you. I was on my way there. I caught myself the other day. Our Father, which I, I was about to be done. And the Lord was in my, the spirit of the Lord was like, you're not done. And I had to go in, Heavenly Father. I bless you. I thank you. I magnify you. I glorify you. I lift you up, Father. There's nobody greater than you. Father, I thank you for being that great, the creator of heaven and earth. Father, I thank you for being my God. Father, I thank you for being my father and mother. Father, I thank you for your love that does not fail. Father, I thank you for your mercy that endureth forever. Father, I thank you for your grace that's all sufficient. You know, I had to remind myself that I'm not talking to an age mate. I'm not talking to a friend. I'm not talking to my husband or a family member. I'm talking to the creator of the entire universe, the most high God, the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. And so my friend Gigi, thank you, Gigi, for this scripture that she sent. It was like a bunch of uh, scriptures from this um, book that she was reading. And that is a scripture that jumped out at me, the Psalm 9 and 1, that I will praise thee. Oh, Lord, with my whole heart. You know, God doesn't want you, you know, put your right foot in and put your left foot out. You put your right foot in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Uh, eh, no, God doesn't want the hokey pokey. God wants your entire person, your entire body, your entire heart, your entire mind on him. That's what God wants. And so I realized that the storms of life will come. Uh, relationships, offenses of life will come. Um, situations out of your control will come. Things will happen that you just don't even understand where it came from. And so we have to know that even in those times, we have to dig in when we're waiting for the Lord, like Moses. Imagine if Moses had... After that 40 year wait, you know, had decided he wasn't going to wait on the Lord anymore. He wouldn't have been able to part the Red Sea. He wouldn't have been able to take the children of Israel out of bondage. He wouldn't have been able to get the Ten Commandments. None of that would have happened if he hadn't waited on the Lord. If he hadn't trusted in the Lord with his whole heart to know that God had promised that he was going to do a thing in Moses and that that promise was going to come to pass. The same thing with David. Imagine when he was anointed by Samuel, he goes out and, you know, he defeats Goliath and then Saul sends him on back to go tend his father's sheep. And then all those years of running from Saul and jealousy and all those things. Imagine if David said, you know what? I'm not about to run from Saul one more day. I'm not about to be in these caves anymore. I'm not about to be worried about this and that man. Forget the kingship. We wouldn't have gotten Solomon who was the wisest king of all kings. We wouldn't have gotten all these beautiful psalms that were written by David, okay? All of those things in his perseverances, in his struggles, in his tribulations, in his trials. Many of those psalms were written that we all run to today. It wasn't that he was going through all, it was all good and all merry while David was um, writing those songs. He was going through, Father, I lift my hand to thee. Father, crush my enemies. Father, don't let me angry with me too long. Oh God, I'm in the shadow of your wings. Hallelujah. 
You know, I'm not walking in the, the way of scoffers and scorners and the counsels of the wicked, Lord God. I am waiting on you. My mind is stayed on you. You are my shepherd and I shall not want. That's David. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I fear? You are the stronghold of my life. Of whom he was praying those things he was going through. Imagine. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he was going through. And so, there are so many Paul in the Bible, you know, that saw that became Paul, you know, that your grace is sufficient, okay? He had a thorn in his, he had a thorn in his side that just would not let up, whatever that thorn was. And he said, your grace is sufficient. He was still praising the Lord with his whole heart. Okay? Whole heart. Won't even talk about Daniel and Joseph, all the trials and struggles and tribulations they went through. And they still trusted the Lord with their whole entire hearts. And I tell you, it's, it, it, you've got to really dig in. You have got to just really trust them. You have to believe, but help my unbelief like the centurion and the, 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 you know, the guy who lost his daughter. You know, you have to know that when God is on the throne, when God is on the scene, when God has made a promise, when God says this is what's going to happen, when God has put people in your path and you know that God put them there, you have to know that he's going to bring it through to fruition. No matter what it looks like, no matter what your bank account looks like, no matter what your, um, how you feel, you have to know that God trumps your feelings. God trumps your bank account. God trumps your friends and family who say you're never going to be nothing. You're never going to make it. God trumps your friends and family when they say your dream will never happen, that, you know, you, 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 you doing too much. God trumps this entire universe. He's God. No matter what, he's God. And there's nobody greater, nobody better, nobody stronger, nobody more faithful, nobody more loving than God. And so that's why when I saw this scripture, it reminded me that I have to praise the Lord, hallelujah, with my whole heart. Not my half a heart, not my throat prayers that don't mean anything. Not God, the, the Bible says the fervent, the, the fervent, effectual prayers of a righteous man availeth much. That means there's a victory in it. There's a power in it. There's a blessed assurance in it that God is going to do what he is going to do because of your faith, your fervent, effectual prayers with faith. It's going to avail, meaning it's going to come to pass that God's going to do it for you, whatever that it is. And if God doesn't do it for you, he's saving you from that it you're praying for. I don't just do these videos for you guys. I do them for myself. To remind myself that I serve the universal, triumphant, everlasting Father, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Yahweh, Elohim, Jehovah, they call him so many names. I tell you, I serve him in tears, not understanding anything, but I trust him with my whole entire soul and life. Whatever it is that I'm going through or you're going through, God is in it with you. He's in the midst. Keep praising him with your whole heart. Whole heart. Just like the word says in Psalm 9 and 1. It says, I will praise thee, Lord, O oh Lord, with my whole heart, and I will show forth all thy marvelous works. Thank you so much for being with me today. Um, God is so good. He, he's just, just, just a amazing God. And I, I just want to let you guys know, I've been doing these scriptures since January 1st. I have been faithful to this YouTube channel, and no matter what it looks like, when I see only one view or one person viewed it or whatever, 
it's not easy when you when you when you want to be so successful for God, when you want to do God's work to see that and keep saying, you know what, I'm gonna get up every single day or every other day and still keep putting out these scriptures. It's not easy to know that I'm on a page. I have so many social media pages and I encourage so many people. It's difficult when I look and see that there are thousands of people that follow me, thousands. And only 151 people have subscribed to my YouTube channel. But I still praise the Lord God with my whole heart for the 151. I'm grateful. And so we have to praise him with our whole hearts, even when it doesn't even look like what he's told you or what you know that's supposed to come to pass is coming. You still have to trust him. You still have to believe him. You still have to praise him. Hallelujah. 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 You have to praise him anyway. Sometimes it's a hallelujah. Hallelujah. You just hallelujah. Other days it's hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And when I'm really super excited, hallelujah, 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 it just all depends. But you just got to praise him with your whole heart. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless America. In Jesus' name. Bye for now. Make sure to like share and subscribe this video we want to you know reach the lost out there we want to reach those who don't really get into the word of god or don't think the word of god is fun or that it's not interesting we want to definitely reach those who we don't want to have satan get anybody we want as many people in heaven with us as we possibly can have so make sure to like share and subscribe bye for now